Hello, Temple students. My name is Rebecca Bender. I am Teddy Lee, and this is the Hoop News, Temple Japan's newsroom, where we inform you about events and happenings around the campus. A friendly reminder that the Academic Advising Center is now taking appointments. Make sure to schedule an appointment as summer is approaching and you don't want to choose the wrong classes for your academic goals. Schedule an appointment online or in person at the AAC. Looking to improve your Japanese language skills? I know I am. Apply for the Japanese Language Boot Camp Program. This program will take place on May 7th through May 25th from 10, 10 o'clock to 1500 on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. You must submit all application materials by 1700 on March 23rd to the Career Development Office, Azabu Hall, 6th floor. Don't miss out on this great opportunity. Speaking of great opportunities, the TUJ Activities Office is offering an overnight ski trip to all students at a discounted price. The trip will be Thursday, February 8th to Saturday, February 10th. Make sure you sign up online as soon as possible as there are limited spaces available. You know, Teddy, I've had enough of this cold weather, so I really don't think I'm going to be going to that ski and snowboarding trip. But I might be interested in the upcoming sumo event. It's the 41st Grand Sumo Tournament. This event takes place on Sunday, February 11th, and is a great way to, to see the wonderful culture of Japan. The event is larger than life, and so are the athletes that perform in it. So make sure to sign up on the TUJ Activities website before the spots fill up. Teddy, have you ever been to a sumo event? I myself have not. But I hear there's lots of fun and worth going while you're here in Japan. Um, did you know that a sumo wrestler eats about 20,000 calories in a single day? That's about 10 times the normal male. Uh, so in honor of the sumo's appetite, this week's Freshman 5 is the do's and don'ts of eating out in Japan. Number one, don't be afraid to use your hands when eating sushi. Learning how to use chopsticks can be pretty hard, but thankfully using your hands to eat sushi is totally acceptable, and it's actually the original way that sushi was eaten. Number two, don't put chopsticks standing straight up in your food. Learning to use chopsticks, this is considered disrespectful, <laughs> as it was originally used in ceremonies for those who have passed and is seen as rude when done otherwise. Don't use chopsticks like a sword. On guard! <laughs> the Japanese consider this extremely rude, even if it is fun. So make sure to pick up your food with a fork if it's too slippery. Number four, it is acceptable to bring your bowl of food close to your face instead of bending your head down. For example, rice isn't always easy to eat with chopsticks, so moving the bowl closer to you means there's less distance between the food and your mouth. Our last top five is when leaving a restaurant, make sure to say gochi so samaresta. This is a polite way of saying thank you for the meal. That's all for this week's Freshman 5. If you have any suggestions for topics you'd like us to cover, message us on templenewsjp at gmail.com or contact us on Facebook at The Hoot News. If you want something different on our broadcast or have ideas for future segments, find us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter at The Hoot News. For student-written articles and events around your campus, like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or watch our previous broadcasts on our YouTube page. As always, have a wonderful week, and we look forward to providing you with campus updates throughout the school year. The, the TUJ, TUJ Newsroom, where, where we, we give a hoot, hoot about, about you. you.